when you got to Washington, one of the other uh, members of the freshman class elected in 1946 was John Kennedy of Massachusetts. Did you have any dealings or contact with him as fellow freshmen? A substantial number, uh, considering the fact that he was a Democrat and I was a Republican. One of the reasons was that uh, we were both put on the Labor Committee, and uh, we had to draw straws to see who had, uh, among the new members of the Congress, who uh, had the seniority. Uh, and he drew the last straw on the Democratic side, and I drew the last straw on the Republican side. So uh, we were, and when questioning came, uh, when we were developing the uh, Taft-Hartley bill, or when we were investigating communism and labor unions and so forth, by the time the questioning came to us, virtually all the good questions had been asked. But we were both pretty sharp, and uh, he would come up with some good questions, and I usually did, and consequently, uh, we'd get together in our offices from time to time and discuss uh, how we could do well the next hearing around. It turned out, incidentally, of course, we differed on that act. Uh, he, coming from a heavily pro-labor uh, district, voted against the Taft-Hartley bill and also uh, voted against overriding President Truman's uh, veto. Uh, I voted for it. Uh, I did not take an extreme position on the Taft-Hartley bill. As a matter of fact, I supported the position of Senator Taft, uh, which buffered down some of the more extreme uh, p positions uh, of the Hartley Bill. George McKinnon, who later went to the Circuit Court of Appeals in uh, Washington, D.C., still there. Uh, and I worked very effectively, incidentally, on Section 14B. A lot of technical things we can't get into here. Did you see in John Kennedy at that time someone with a major political future? Did he seem to be different from the other freshmen in the class? I don't know as I really thought of that, but I could see that he was very intelligent. Uh, he was very intelligent. He was very personable. Uh, however, I, I sensed that he was very shy, uh, frankly, as I was. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I rather thought that we were alike in that respect. We were very different in many ways. Uh, but uh, he had a very great sense of privacy. I think that's one of the reasons uh, perhaps we hit it off rather well. I remember one night, for example, that Eunice Kennedy, his uh, his older sister, who was not married then, uh, had a dinner uh, at her house where he was there and I was there uh, and a few of the other young members of Congress. And we talked far, far into the night, not incidentally about uh, domestic issues where we would totally disagree in many cases, like on Taft-Hartley, but about foreign policy where Kennedy and I saw the world pretty much alike. Uh, he was anti-communist, I was anti-communist. He was for foreign aid under proper circumstances, I was. He was for reciprocal trade, and I was. We had a lot of things in common. 